What's up everyone? So today we're finally getting around to uh, fixing this 500 gallon tank that my dad told me weeks and months ago that he fixed this rod for me. Been waiting on him and I finally had to come out and start doing it myself. Oh, Shame he's a liar! <laughs> <laughs> So yes, we're going to give you guys tips and tricks on how to bond acrylic or do an acrylic patch on this 500 gallon tank. And we'll also give you guys just a few updates on uh, Lavaca and a few other things around the rescue. So for starters here. What we have, this is an acrylic rod, it's a one inch square rod. For those of you that don't know, we had a seam pop here. It was just a six inch uh, split in the seam. When we were carrying this tank in, somebody had dropped their corner and the corner of the tank slammed down and split this corner of the tank. We were able to temporarily fix it with silicone and then eventually the rest of the seam failed. So what we did here, we got an acrylic rod, it's a one inch square rod. Now because we had a, a previous fix on it, we had to basically put this chamfer on this square rod to try and take up some of that uh, glue in the corner. So that's what we, we did there. Now to get the seam right, I went ahead and placed this in the corner and then I went ahead and did some painter's tape on each side to where when we're done gluing, you can just run your finger down it and basically pull that off and let this thing sit and dry. All right, so right here, here's the glue that we're using. This is acrylic weld on 16. It is a uh, fast set glue. And then before you do anything with the acrylics, you always want to clean with rubbing alcohol. Make sure you get any dirt or grime away from your surface that you're going to bond. Give it about 30 seconds or so, so to dry. As you can see, we already put down the, the blue masking tape, so I have it all taped off. And we have our rod prepared up already. So now the next step is basically getting the glue down. So not, you know, getting the, the surface any dust in there. That's your bi biggest concern right now. So now you're going to basically take your glue. I'm going to take, this is an old paint roller. I'm just going to go ahead and dip it in here and I'm going to use this to basically spread my glue onto both surfaces. Once we're satisfied, we're gonna go ahead and put our piece of acrylic rod in the corner. And then after that's done, you're, you're, you're done rub, rubbing away glue. We're gonna you take- You forgot the part where we cross our fingers and hope for no bubbles. <laughs> yes. We're gonna go ahead and take that blue tape off and then she's gonna sit for the next 24 hours. And uh, on the small chance that there is bubbles on the, the seam, we're gonna go ahead and cover the front face with a piece of trim. So for one, you don't see the bubbles. Two, you don't see this god awful right. patch job. On the, well, it's not god awful, it's actually a nice patch job, but it's gonna be unsightly. For We're the not front finished view of yet, the tank. it could come out god awful. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so before we got started, we had to find some weights to weight down the acrylic <laughs> rod afterwards. These are actually uh, lead, lead weights from a dive belt. So after I'm done gluing, my dad's going to come back behind me and put the weights on, on the rod, and then we'll be good to go. All right, so let's get started. We've got our glue. But can you hold these weights while I pour? <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Don't, don't even use that thing. Just pour it. i got to be able to spread it. And what spread if I pour too, too much? It'll go on the tank. You're fine. You're good. Too much is never enough. Yeah. Huh. Look how stirred it is. That's too little. Double that up. More. No, you don't. But in this corner, you're good. I don't know about the rest, but that's how much you need. And you don't want to wipe. I, it's on the acrylic. Yes, I do. Well, I didn't want to do that. That's a mess up. You're probably going to see. Now you're spreading it too thin is what you're doing. You want it thick to goose out of the corners. Well, I'm trying to get it up the sidewall. wall. 
As you guys can see, we are not professionals in bonding acrylic. This is, you know, we're doing it on the fly. We've only done it a couple times before. Nor is he a professional at listening to his father. <laughs> no, we have fun here. We, we just get stuff done. Okay. There goes that. Put this towel down so that's not the towel. And pour some more so the big hey, Josh, man is. Take, take that whole rag off the front face of the tank. Yes, take that off. Set it on the rock. Yeah. And in doing this job, that's all you want is the big man happy. <laughs> Now take your rod. Now what you want to do next, you've got the quarter that you're going to put in the... You basically want to join each surface. Make sure both surfaces have contact with the glue. Alright. That looks awesome. Now we're just oozing it in the corner. Oh, that's lots of glue. Yeah, wipe that off. Let me get it set first. Woo! It's stinky. No, that smells good. Glue smells good. I'm a 70s kid. No, I like that smell of like model glue when you're putting a model together. I never, I mean, you kill your brain cells huffing glue. I mean, it's just dumb. I've never done anything like that, and I don't need to get high and, and, and buy glue to do it. You know what I'm saying? But I like the smell of it. You know, some people like the smell of gasoline. I really don't. Some people like the smell of the glue. I love the smell of this glue. I gotta wipe off the top of it, and then you can set your weights down there. Now, do you think them weights will get stuck in, in this no, glue? No. Wipe. Just wipe. Actually, I'm just gonna leave, leave that on there. It's not harming nothing. You wanna go ahead and put your weights down? Wipe first. Uh, the whole length down. Hang on. You did great. There's no bubbles on this side, so I know there's no bubbles underneath. So you're good to go. Wipe off the excess and let it be. You know I'm a professional acrylic welder, right? Well, by now you should be. <laughs> oh. I tell you what, holding these 10 pounds of weights in my hands, I got my fingers are aching. <laughs> you don't think 10 pounds is enough? Hold it for a half hour. You know what I'm saying? All right, other side. Glue. You don't want it stuck in the glue. Yeah, and once the glue hardens, you don't want to have to try and move it up. Oh, look how pretty! Okay, while you're back there, Hang on. I got glue all over all right. my hands. Do it. Look, people, no crack. Wait, wait, Big Rich is doing work. Oh my God, stop <laughs> it! <laughs> I get rid of that stuff. It's all garbage. Yeah, I gotta get. So we spilled a little bit of the glue from the tape overboard. So right now I'm just cleaning it up with uh, rubbing alcohol. I like how he uses the word "we." <laughs> spilled some glue while I was pulling the tape off. <laughs> I told you it was too much. I'd rather have it a little bit of cleanup than have bubbles in the uh, seam. All right, so the job is now complete. Now we can go down here and see what my dad was referring to. You can see this is the rod that we just installed and there's no air bubbles all the way down where the glue and the new acrylic rod uh, bonded to together. Bye. You can Beautiful. see the original seam where it popped apart. We had injected that before and there's going to be no structural integrity even if we put glue down it in there. But there is glue from this one that will seep down in and it'll bond a li little bit. But your Look at main, how good that seam is, though. your main bond is from this new acrylic rod bonding to this face and bonding to this face down here. So basically, instead of having your seam here, your seams are now here and here. So that's basically what you have now for the corner. It's uh, the proper way, way to do it. It does look a little ugly but at least we have a 500 gallon tank again but now you guys can see on the inside now that we pulled away that blue tape 
You can see the nice pretty seam all the way down. You don't see no bubbles through the acrylic. And once this dries, it'll dry clear like glass. So job well done. Tomorrow we can go ahead and flip this puppy up and we can start filling her with water or testing her at least. So one more thing before we cut to uh, something else here. My dad was talking about buffing the acrylic. Yes, sometimes you will scratch your acrylic tank when you're fixing it. Accidents do happen, just like this spot right here. But what he means by, by that, you can take a fine grit piece of sandpaper on smaller scratches, go ahead and sand it down, and then you can come back with a buffing pad and acrylic polish and be able to buff this tank back to new. So if any of this gravel that's now laying on the face of this tank, we would be able to buff the, those out once it's back up into place. It's just more work for myself. Cause this big guy ain't getting it in that tank and doing it. I buff every tank, you don't ever buff. Look at you taking Agree all the credit. to disagree. Agree, Agree to disagree. disagree. <laughs> All right, so I was going to feed the clams to Lavaca on film, but these clams are just a tad too big, not too big, but too hard for Lavaca. She's not really busting them apart. These are not normally the clams that we uh, get for her. The, these were something that someone had brought over for her. So she's trying to rip them apart, but she's not really having a easy time. She got it open. She got the meat out, out of it, so she's probably going to lose interest in that one soon. But she has one more right over here she still has to get open. Poor girl. All right, we've got 24 hours on this patch job. We went ahead and folded the tank back up, got it moved back into position. Now she is basically ready for water again, but I'm gonna let this cure for another 24 hours, so it has 48 hours. After 24, it's supposed to be at 80%, so I'm doing an extra day just to be, you know, 100% certain. And then uh, we can go ahead and test fill this. I already lined up my piping so the plumbing can be hooked back up. Got to re-plumb the top plumbing here. Uh, this actually broke over here, so we got some fittings to fix that. But the tank is fixed, and we are ready to fill her up. So you guys are going to have to join us in part two, where we fill this puppy back up. We're going to go ahead and get the sand waterfall back running in here and all the plumbing done. So this tank will be back on our system in the next video. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more crazy adventures, the Ohio Fish Rescue, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, stay fishy, my friends. <laughs>